British Foreign Secretary David Lemmy has called on Ukraine's allies to show courage in their military support for Kyiv. He did not directly address the issue of Western strikes on Russia, but his comments came amid a heated debate about lifting the US ban on such actions. Lemmy said that the challenges facing Ukraine would become deeper and more severe over the next year of the war, which would be towards the end of 2025 and into 2026. Therefore, for allies back in Ukraine now is a critical moment to show courage, fortitude. The Guardian notes that these comments were likely aimed at the hesitant White House, concerned about the risks associated with allowing Britain's Storm Shadow missiles to be used to strike Russia. Lemmy added that Ukraine and its Western allies were discussing what more might be needed to help the Ukrainian armed forces on the battlefield. There is now a very specific and ongoing discussion between allies about how partners can support Ukraine ahead of the winter. Ukraine's top allies should stop hesitating in helping the country fight back against Russia and allow the armed forces of Ukraine to use all the weapons they receive to strike deep into the Russian Federation. This was also stated by the Prime Minister of Denmark, Mette Frederiksen, in an interview with Bloomberg Television. My proposal, let's end the discussion of red lines, Frederiksen said, saying that it was a mistake during the war to have a public discussion of red lines because it gave the Russian side an advantage. At the same time, Frederiksen rejected any suggestions that in the end of long-range strikes on the Russian Federation being allowed, there would be an escalation that would involve Kyiv's allies in the war. At the same time, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg noted that if Ukraine is allowed to hit targets in Russia with long-range Western missiles, it is wrong to say that NATO allies will become a party to the conflict. North Korea and Iran provide significant military support and supply missiles and drones to Russia without becoming a direct party of the conflict, he recalled. According to him, Putin understands no nuclear war.